Hi, Scorpio. <laughs> I was trying to fix my ponytail in the, the um, whatever this is. It got twisted. Hi, Scorpio. I'm G1 Lady with G1 Insights, and this is your Life and Love Energy for October 13th until November 13th. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Scorpio. Oh, happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Listen, this is going to be a life and love energy. I'm going to do my best to present you with some great advice for this Mercury retrograde season. From October 13th until November 13th, we're going to be experiencing some changes and some excitement and some beautiful or even... Um, moments <laughs> that's going to be uh yearning for our attention and i just wanted to be able to present messages for everyone just kind of like a word of encouragement you know so this message is for scorpio sun moon rising or venus and scorpio this is for the scorpio man and the scorpio woman Ooh, la, la. all right scorpio let's see what universe has for you Ooh, ooh. Right. Oh, 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 <laughs> Scorpio, you will be feeling like the whole month is going to be very spiritual anyway, because there, you know, every year when you're, you're having a birthday, you know, there's something that clicks in your mind that says, I just got to do better this time around. You know, I got to manifest this thing. <laughs> create an altar for yourself this can be in a closet this can be downstairs in the basement this can be in your man cave this can just be some weird spot in your house or like maybe late at night when everyone is sleeping you know but create an altar for yourself create a spiritual place that you can go to whenever you feel down when even when you're happy you want to create a space where you can just be you, Scorpio. And that means if you're in the mood to pray, you have that space to go pray. If you have that mood where you just want to give God the thanks, you have that space where you could just give thanks. If you want to just kind of sit in solitude for a few moments, you have that space to do that. If you have a moment where you just want to go cry, you have a space to do that. It's so important to create an altar for yourself spiritually. And this doesn't even have to be a physical thing, guys. This can be even internally, okay? This can be something you do at work. Maybe you step outside for a few moments and go for a walk for about five minutes or so, right? You can be at the gym. Maybe exercising is going to make you feel better. You're going to be putting the end to something um, that you have a really crazy habit of doing. So, <laughs> some of you already actually started that process. And some of you are actually on that journey as we speak. So, this is going to be really surprising for people around you. Because they're not used to seeing this side of you. Okay? Oh, excuse me. Mm. But the good news is <laughs> we have abundance here. So I see lots of money, lots of prosperity. I see that you have an abundance and overflow of love coming to you and overflow of even money coming to you. There's going to be a lot of surprising news. You already experienced some of this great news in the month of September, but the month of October is going to be even more fruitful for you. But going into November now, that is where it gets tricky because it's like, what are you going to do with all the uh, this greatness that we are giving you, Scorpio? Are you giving back to the community? Are you doing the right things by your, you know, by people that you love? Are you doing right by your spouse? Are you giving back? You know, um, this is also about your overall well-being, okay? I see blossoming too. It says you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself, the process, and do not give up. So don't give up on yourself, Scorpio. Of course, I know that you realize there are some things that needs to be changed. And yes, even while being on the spiritual journey, and even though you're getting all these epiphanies and all these different ideas, you know, there are still some things that is going to be improving in your home. This, again, this is going to be either like a really major surprise or some type of shakeup somewhere. 
um okay but this can be it says do a healthy change okay so this is definitely good news this can be someone moving in helping out with their bills this can be you know um you guys deciding to relocate this can be you know someone being pregnant this can be re, uh, redecorating your home for the holiday something amazing is shifting here um you may or you may not like it right away knowing you you think you know you're very skeptical by nature so you may or may not like it right away whether it's good or bad you might be like mm, okay whatever you know um <laughs> but as the weeks go on you'll realize that it was actually very beneficial for you you know scorpios don't really like to tap into anything if it's not beneficial so I think that this will prove to be beneficial for you. The thing is here is that you have some questions, okay? And now when it comes to taking action, the answer is yes, okay? You want to go forth. You want to multiply. You want to do what it is to expand and to go above and beyond. Because I feel like all eyes are on you. All eyes are on you, Scorpio. So I feel like you don't even have to try so hard this season to get what you want. You just got to basically just be yourself, be charming, be sweet, and be lovable. You know, everyone loves Scorpio. I mean, hello, you are the most one of the most charming signs of the Zodiac, okay? Um, it is what it is. People naturally gravitate to you, okay? The problem is setting boundaries, separating yourself from people that you know can kind of put you in a situation that you don't need to be in. Okay, and not only that, but also just kind of rebuilding yourself, rebuilding your brand, rebuilding your 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 self confidence. You know, rebuilding the love in your love life. I feel like a lot of you are yearning for harmony at this time, and in the month between October thirteenth and November thirteenth, that harmony will most likely return because again, some things are working out in your favor. And if it's not you, then this is definitely for somebody else that you're really close to, and it's gonna make you really really happy because you are a part of that journey. So therefore you two get the win. Okay, so this is gonna be really exciting and very um, beneficial for you Okay, so you want to pay attention to how you're treating people how supportive you are or aren't okay You want to make sure that you are um, Being as adventurous as possible. You want to make sure you reach out to people that have been kind of quiet lately I just hear reach out to people that has been very quiet. There's a reason why they have been kind of quiet It's not because they're being mean or um, stuck up or um, standoffish okay i feel like they just been going through their own thing you know so i feel like you want to kind of tap into their energy a little bit all right now the good thing is here you know well depending on how you look at it we do have mercury retrograde and so while mercury retrograde can sometimes cause confusion because you know communication can get all jacked up and technology can get all messed up and then we have you know the money messing up but for you scorpio i don't feel like any of those things are going to be a problem i feel like the biggest thing here is um old wounds you know healing old wounds getting over the past and i feel like for the first time in a long time you're ready to deal with the consequences you're ready to kind of say you know what i own up to it um you know this is what i need to take care of i need to address this situation i want to make things right you know something though is going to work out in your favor i feel like if you were worried about like some type of legal issue or concern or anything dealing like with just simply moving on if you feel like this one thing will kind of hold you back it's actually not going to it's actually going to be beneficial for you and you will learn a lesson a very important lesson through whatever it is that you're currently going through or that you will be dealing with at this time or very early on in november Okay, there is a definitely an important lesson that needs to be learned here. And that is why it's saying to create a particular altar for yourself. So that way you can have time to meditate, to think about it, to think before you speak, to have a place that you can go and kind of calm down before you lash out. You know, so there is going to be some things that are going to be proven to be very beneficial for you. And I don't think, you know, it says that your household situation is improving. That means that things are getting better. And with abundance being here, I feel like it's because you're taking the time to work on you. You're taking the time to work on your goals, to work on your, your old issues, your insecurities, you know, the jealousy, the possessiveness. You're working on those things. Okay. Um, 
the fact that you feel like you can't trust anyone, okay? You're working on those things. You know, it's a battle. I mean, you guys been through so many things, and it hasn't been an easy ride, you know? But I feel like you're, you're ready. You're ready to do the work. You're ready to step up to the plate and say, you know what? Yeah, we, we can't go through this anymore, okay? So this is really brilliant on your part, Scorpio. Really good, really smart choice to, I feel like, you know, whatever habit this is, it can be drinking, smoking, lashing out, being angry, um, you know, <laughs> maybe eating bad foods, you know, whatever this is, I feel like it's definitely something that you are ready to just say, you know what, I'm done with this side of me. I'm ready to just start fresh and do something I've never done before. So I really applaud you, Scorpio, for taking that initiative because it takes a lot of courage to get pick yourself back up when you have been knocked down so many times, okay? So I really do applaud you on that. Good for you, Scorpio. Like I said, you are blossoming, though. <laughs> That's really good news. Really good, really good. And some, it says your household situation is improving. So some type of good, great financial news could come through. This can be a raise or you might get some unexpected money really soon. So I will, during my retrograde, it's kind of hard to, again, communication is not always its best. So I would double check my emails because this is a lot of great news coming in for some of you. So I would check my emails, my mailboxes. I would check my text messages. I would check my old addresses, things in that nature. You know, make sure everything is up to date. Make sure that you send messages more than once. You know, because Mercury Retrograde has a way of kind of saying fuck you indirectly, okay? <laughs> I had to put a little humor in that. I'm sorry. All right, but here we go. We're going to do some love cards here for you, Scorpio. Let's see what love is doing for you during Mercury Retrograde between October 13th and November 13th. Thank you for showing me, Scorpio man and Scorpio woman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it says here that you're no longer in a position where you want to push people away. Again, I feel like you're working on them issues. And whatever it is that you are going to be pushing away is going to be pretty much setting boundaries. You know, I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. Um, I don't want that drink. I don't want to smoke. You know, not today. I'm not, I don't want to deal with that, okay? Um, you could be avoiding a situation or avoiding someone, but I feel like it's only because you've been hurt. And you may not want to address it, but it's something, you know, for a lot of you, this could be a marital situation, um, a marriage or marital problems, perhaps. Okay, and that's probably maybe some of you are getting married because sacral, um, sacred space did come out and it says wedding rings here. So this could be a wedding that is about to happen. Okay, or you guys will have marriage on your mind or this could be marital problems, okay? But it could be, like I said, that you're just trying to avoid something. You know, and you're trying to avoid it because you've been hurt and you know what it's like to be hurt. Um, I feel like you may have even been the one to cause the hurt. And now you're in this space, like I said, spiritually, where you just want to make things right, okay? And it says yes. So I don't know if this is like an actual physical yes, like this person is saying yes, let's move in together. Yes, let's get married, okay? Yes, let's renew our vows. Yes, let's do this. Like, whatever this is, is a big yes, okay? So spirit is saying yes, go for it, do it. Do the right thing by your spouse. Do the right thing by your husband. Do the right thing by your wife. If you want to propose to this person, you want to do right by that person. You want to propose to that person. Spirit is saying, do your thing. Take action, my love, okay? I also see here, no, okay? So if you're feeling like this person is malicious or um, there's another person, you know, it's saying that your situation is improving. So the fact that, you know, don't waste a lot of time being sneaky or feeling like you don't want to open up to this person. Um, I don't feel like this person is lying to you, but I feel like you feel that way. You feel like this is not, like this person is not being totally truthful. You feel like something else is going on beneath the surface. But that is just naturally who you are. And again, those are some of the things that you're going to have to address. Your inner demons, you're going to have to work on that. Your old trauma, things that you've experienced in your life. You're going to have to work through those issues in order for you to have that wonderful, beautiful relationship and love, guys. You're going to have to work on some things, okay? Um, and again, because it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants, um, good thing is, I think that it is going to work out in your favor, whatever you and your spouse could have been going through recently. 
or could be going through at the moment whenever you're watching this video i do want to encourage you to keep hope alive <laughs> things are going to work out in your favor my love so do not give up just yet okay scorpio that was one of the most beautiful readings that i've done for you in a really long time and it was so nice guys i would love to have you as one of my subscribers please subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message subscribe to my channel so you can be amongst the first to find out anytime that i go live or upload a video you will be one of the first to know guys also check out my website g1insights.org to book a tarot reading a personal reading for yourself or you can purchase any product that you like or to simply become a member to support our holiday mission thank you for all your time and all your effort thank you for all your love and support and services bye